Hey there, and welcome to Silver Screen Style. My name is Laura, and here on this channel, I recreate the iconic styles of the silver screen. Now, I'm actually going to be doing something a little different today. Typically, I take a movie and I make a lookbook where I recreate several outfits within that movie. Today, however, I was working on my latest project, which is Sabrina, starring Audrey Hepburn, Humphrey Bogart, and William Holden, and I realized that there is a hat. This hat. Well, I am no Givenchy, but I thought I would try my hand at making my own, since I couldn't find anything like that in stores, especially modern day stores. And so I got to thinking, well, if you are wanting to recreate the outfit that Sabrina wears to dinner on her date with Linus Larrabee, you too might be interested in learning how to make this hat. And so that's what we're going to do. So get out your scissors and super glue. We're about to get crafty. Now, for me, the first thing I really wanted to tackle was the size and the shape of the hat. It's really kind of difficult to see. All the pictures I could see of the hat were in black and white, and it's on top of her hair, which Audrey Hepburn has dark hair, and so it was really kind of difficult to distinguish what was hat, what was hair, what was that lace mesh thing. Um, and so anyway, this is my interpretation of the hat. This is not an exact replica, it's just a fun little project where I try to capture the essence and the style and the overall vibes of the hat. So that's a little disclaimer. Anyway, so the first thing I did was create kind of little templates. Now, this is my template. If you are interested in recreating the hat at home and you want my templates, they are linked in the description box down below. It's just on a Google Drive, so you just go there and you can print these off. So, this one is for the hat. And the little crown thing that goes around the top of her hat. There is another one that is for the veil. Um, and so that one's right here. So with that, let's get started. Okay, here's what you'll need to complete this hat. Black netting. This is what will cover the hat and create that little widow's peak veil. This is polyester cargo netting from Joanne Fabrics and I really liked the weight of this material. Black felt. I used these 12 by nine sheets from Amazon, which came in a multi-pack. You just want felt that's sturdy enough to hold its shape. Obviously, you'll need scissors to cut out the felt and veil. Super glue will be used to glue on the rhinestones at the end. Rhinestones. Now I got this pack of various sizes from Amazon and they have sticky backs. By the way, everything I used will be linked in the description box down below. Optional things you might want to use would be a hairband, clothing steamer for helping to shape the felt, and tiny pliers to help place the rhinestones. With my template printed and ready to go, I got started with the hat. I had to angle the template to cut out the hat shape from the felt. Once that was done, I cut the circle out of the center and placed that on my second sheet of felt. After cutting out the crown template, I pinned that to the felt as well. Once all the felt pieces have been cut out, it's time to grab the two crown pieces. You're going to sew them together to create a long crown piece. Like that. This is hard to see on the black felt, but I ironed the felt in half so that it would stand up. With the crown points up, 
I pinned the bottom part to the circle piece. I then trimmed off the excess. Then it was time to take it to the sewing machine. While still at the sewing machine, I attached some scrap felt to the bottom of the main hat piece. This is completely optional, but I used these scraps to slide the headband through to hold it to my head. Using the veil template, I cut out the net fabric. Then I folded it around the main hat piece with the hairband holders facing up. Then, you guessed it, back to the sewing machine. To create the widow's peak veil, I cut along the netting at an angle to get a triangle. Carefully using a lighter, I melted the edges to keep the net from fraying. And I then sewed that to the hat. So far, so good. The next step was to attach the crown to the hat. So of course I first pinned it to place and then sewed it on. With everything sewn in place, I shaped the hat to my head form and then steamed it so the felt maintains that shape. Bedazzling time! So my rhinestones had sticker backing, which was really helpful, as I could place the rhinestones where I wanted them before super gluing them down. Here is what the hat looks like with the headband in place. Well, here it is. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I feel like going out to dinner with a very eligible businessman millionaire. <laughs> well, I am very happy with how this turned out. It is not an exact replica, and I highly doubt the techniques that I used were the same that Givenchy used when he designed the hat for Audrey back in the movie. But I think it's a pretty close replica. And any movie aficionados I feel would recognize this hat as being worn by Audrey Hepburn and Sabrina. And that's really the goal on this channel. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said at the beginning, this is a kind of different type of video than I normally do on this channel. But um, it was certainly a lot of fun to do, and so I hope you enjoyed watching it as well. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Let me know that you enjoyed watching it. Um, and if you want to see the entire look, this 
fabulous dress I'm wearing and as well as several other outfits from the movie Sabrina. Stay tuned because that video will be coming out very shortly. And if you're watching this in the future, it'll be linked in the description box down below. Now once again, all of the items that I used to make this hat are linked in the description box down below, um, though you could probably use a lot of similar items elsewhere. Um, if you are wanting the um, template that I created to come to this hat, feel free to click that link as well in the description box down below. So basically, anything you need is in the description box down below. <laughs> well, I guess that's about it for me. Um, if you liked this video, please also subscribe to the channel and uh, ring-a-ding-ding -ding that notification bell so you don't miss when I upload the Sabrina lookbook as well as all the other movies that I have planned on doing lookbooks for. I'm very excited. So I look forward to seeing you on the next one. La vie en rouge. <laughs> I will see you in the next video. Au revoir.